Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Now I just want to start this video off by saying if you find this video helpful, please sub to my channel. That will help me out massively. Or if you want to see some other videos like base designs, trap based videos or solo survival series. Yeah, just hit that sub button as I currently know that about 80% of my um, view time is from people who are not sub to my channel. So if you can hit that sub button, that'll help me out massive. Right, let's get straight into this video. Cheers. Welcome back guys, now if you've just installed your server and you need to get it up to date, whether it's the first time or a new patch is out, you've come to the right place, I won't waste your time, we'll get straight into it. So what you need to do is you need to navigate to your Rust server folder. So for me, that is in my C drive and it's under a folder called Rust underscore server. Then we need to go into the Steam folder and then find uh, Steam CMD. Load that up. If any pop-ups come up for firewall, it's okay to click allow. Um, I think it needs them to do the update. Um, so what we need to do is now in this CMD window, we need to type login anonymous and click enter. Uh, once that goes through, that is okay. We then need to type force, oh, sorry, force underscore install underscore dir space. Then we need to put a speech mark and then the directory of your Steam Rust server folder. So that will be for me my C drive backslash Rust underscore server. And then we put another backslash and then another speech mark at the end. So click enter. Now that's done. Then we need to actually, now we're in there, we can update the files. So we type app underscore update space 258. 8550 which I think is the number for rust so we click enter as we can see now that is going to update all the files and get it up to the latest version so we'll just let that happen okay so that is now finished fully installing your rust server files that is now up to date with the latest vanilla version for your rust server the last thing you need to do is just type quit in there and type enter now it is fully done um yeah that is good to go now you can load it up make it public or just do whatever you want to do with your server um hope this helps if it does help um don't forget to like and subscribe that'll help me out massively and yeah i will catch you guys later